before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram so let's speak about the visa policy of cuba you just need to click over this link to understand the visa policy of cuba and you will find that there are some countries that uh, do not require a visa for cuba like uh, united arab emirates russia for 90 days granada uh, 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 granada for 60 days mongolia singapore for 30 days uh, and uh, dominica for 28 days but for the rest of the world you will need either to apply for a tourist a card for example all countries of south america north america african countries uh, china need to apply for a tourist card from the embassy and some other countries need to apply for a visa like india for example uh, pakistan uh, iran yemen iraq uh, ethiopia these countries you need to acquire a visa and both of them you are going to apply for both of them uh, through the embassy so in order to download uh, that tourist card for cuba just download it from here click over this link then you can just download it let me show you how it uh, looks like okay this is the tourist a card you just need to write your name your family name and your passport number Eli, and some informations uh, date of application and your signature and you will have to submit this uh, tourist visa card to uh, the embassy in your uh, country uh, and in case you're applying for the visa in the end of this video we will be speaking about all the required documents that you will need uh, to attach to the application while applying for the visa so in order to get information about the cuban embassy in your country just uh, click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and then choose for your country for example you will find okay you find egypt here you'll find ethiopia you'll find france let's assume you're applying from india and just click over your uh, country okay and then this is the official page for the cuban embassy in your country click over tourist visa here and then they will give you all the informations about the visa and all the required documents and also let's check the contact uh, information how to contact the cuban embassy in your country okay click home again and okay they must be giving some contact details here just one second so if you click over the facebook icon over here this page will appear in front of you just click the about page and they will give you uh, the email to contact the embassy of cuba in india and also you can google cuban embassy in india over here they will be giving you here the phone numbers and the exact location and you just need to go to the embassy along with all your uh, documents the application form and the rest of your documents and just apply for the visa the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamps pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed 
and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you're applying for you will also need to submit a proof of status if you are an employee then you will need to bring an hr letter from your company and this hr letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you're a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of of funds sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality uh, in that case you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country you will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds it should cover the last six month uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank number eight is your flight reservation it should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it would be okay to submit a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it could be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another 